Well, hello, YouTubers. Welcome to my channel. Today's featured vehicle is this beautiful 2013 Ram 3500 Longhorn Cummins Mega Cab. It's been brought to you by Cars and Trucks Direct in Bernie, Texas. Links and contact info will be listed in the description box. So now I'll go over all the features that this truck has to offer. We'll walk around the exterior, we'll show you the interior, start the engine, all that good stuff. So, let's, let's give you all a walk around of the exterior. It's got a nice black metallic exterior. Or it's actually a clear coat, sorry, not metallic. Nice projector headlights up front. The Longhorn package is like Ram's version of Ford's King Ranch package. So, so it's got the premium leather interior. It's got Michelin tires on the original 17 inch wheels. Running boards on the side. Like I said, this is a mega cab, so you're gonna have a lot of back seat room. And I'll show you how much you have later in the video. This truck is a dually. Nice chrome rear bumper with backup sensors. Tow package down there. A little backup camera built into the tailgate lever. Nice that the tailgate actually locks with the truck when you when you when you lock it. It does have a spray and bed liner in it. It's got a BW turnover gooseneck hitch. Hit ink rack up top. Go down below here. This has the corporate 11 and a half inch rear end. Runs 410 gears all the way. Factory exhaust. Up front, it's got the original Dana 60 front with coilover suspension. Really gives it a smooth ride. Nice, there's your tow mirrors. Nice signature Ram special. Just flip them on in if you're not towing anything and flip them out if you are. And before I go in the interior, I would like to show you that this truck does come with remote start. Simply hit lock and hit the remote start button twice. And there you go. We're gonna shut her off here. And one more thing before I go on the interior, I would like to show you that this truck does come with a smart key access system. Just have the key fob anywhere around you, like having it here in your pocket. Then to lock it, just hit that chrome button on the front of the door handle. And the horn will sound to indicate that the vehicle will lock. Then to open it up, just simply grab that touch sensor behind the handle and it'll unlock. It's got the special edition brown saddle leather interior, part of the Longhorn package. All your power options are right over here. Your power windows, window locks, power door locks, and the power mirrors are right there. So let's go ahead and hop on in. Feels very nice sitting in the cab of this truck. And also before, or I should say, along with the smart key system, it also does come with push button ignition. Just have the key anywhere inside the vehicle. Touch the brake and hit the engine start button to start it. Nice sound. The steering wheel is partially leather wrapped in the same brown saddle leather as the seats. It has wood, wood grain up top. The power steering is actually very nice and smooth, especially for a heavy duty truck. You'd think because of how big it is, it'll be hard to turn the wheel, but it's actually not. And nice, nice that it has this kind of light brown brushed silver insert on the spokes of the wheel. This truck has the six-speed Ison automatic transmission. Step up from the 68 RFE transmission. It has manual shiftability by the plus and minus on the side of the shifter. 
The numbers will show right up there in the dash. To let you know what gear you're in. Also, when you put the vehicle in reverse, your integrated backup camera will show up right there in a nav screen with guidance lines that adjust by turning the steering wheel. Shifter is nicely accented in the brown saddle leather. Your tow haul mode is down here below the dash that raises the transmission shift points to gain better performance while you're towing. All right, now let's go ahead and flip the lights on. The lights are automatic, by the way. The fog lights and the hazards. Both windows are fully automatic. Well, both the front ones, I should say. So now I'll go ahead and show you the lights. You do have little LED accent lights on the side of the mirrors. Give you a sound of the exhaust. Sounds beautiful. Also, there's your lights on the headache rack. All right, now let's gonna take you back inside. Shut off all the lights. And now, we're going to pop the hood and show you all the engine. is powered by the 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel inline six cylinder good old ISB Cummins diesel four valves per cylinder overhead valve design this truck makes 375 horsepower and a massive 860 foot-pounds of torque definitely a lot of power in this truck Everything under here is all stock, still has its original EGR and DPF, factory airbox. This truck can tow up to a maximum of about 15,000 plus pounds, which is amazing the amount of pulling power that these trucks are capable of. And I'm not going to make any claims as to fuel economy since these trucks do not require to meet the EPA, but depending on how how your towing and driving characteristics are you can expect to get roughly about 15 or 16 miles a gallon so let's go ahead and close up the hood going back in usually around this portion I, I rev the engine up to show you how it sounds but I'm not going to do that since the engine's still cold so now we'll go ahead and close up the door I'll show you the interior features. It's dark in here with all that tint. Now I'll go ahead and show you on the all your radio controls right here. I'm not allowed to play the radio because of copyright reasons, but just to give you an idea of how everything works, your six presets are up here. Up to 12, I should add. Your outside temperature shows right up there. It, well, actually, that's the temperature of of the climate control. There's your outside temp. Your compass right there, clock over here. It shows the temperature for both sides since this is a dual climate control system. Your AM FM control with Sirius satellite radio. You can show your map on screen there. HD radio. Your browse and tune right here. There's your direct tune function audio settings right there over here for your media you have your disc USB and auxiliary you down a little more you have your Bluetooth connectivity and your SD card once again show your map on screen repeat and shuffle track seek audio settings and go over here for your various driver controls you have your mirror dimmer right there settings heated and ventilated seats for both the driver and passenger. You also do have a heated steering wheel, which is a nice feature to have. Go over here for your climate. You can show all your climate control on screen there. 
controller like so. There's your temp, your different zones, heated seats, heated ventilated seats, and heated steering wheel. Fan speed down there. Press this sink to control both sides of the climate control at the same time. AC off. Your front defrost, or excuse me, rear defrost. There's front defrost. Auto AC, recycler, AC control on max AC. Nav is, is right here. You can show you where to, view your map, information, and emergency. And show you the map. You can go through your phone settings. No phones connected as of now. But we can show right here your contact favorites up there. Radio and end, re, uh, redial, I should say. Sorry about my mispronunciation. Mute, transfer, and join calls. Settings down here messaging, dial, resent calls, and phone book. Just show your apps right there. Very nice system. You also turn off the screen right down here. And touch screen to, to turn it back on. Right here's your mute button, the volume, um, and tune right there. Your main climate control is down here. The fan speeds right over here. Temperature for both the driver and passenger. AC control, recycler, front defrost, and rear defrost. Factory brake controller is down here. Traction control off right there. Five auxiliary switches down there. They're not hooked up to anything. But if you wanted to hook up some like aftermarket work lights or fog lights, it already has it built in. Your exhaust brake is controlled right here, which closes up the vanes inside the turbo to, act, to use it, the exhaust as a form of braking. Definitely helps when you're pulling a trailer. Parking sensor override switch. 115 volt outlet to hook up household chargers like, like a laptop charger or thing of that nature. A little storage down here. You do have an upper and lower glove box. So you do have much more storage. Two storage compartments on the side of the door. Little cup holders down there. S small center console up storage up here with your SD card slot, your auxiliary, and USB line in. Another one over there. You do have a much larger storage down there with your six disc CD changer two cup holders in the center console nice large storage down here as well 12 volt power point four wheel drive switch is is, is right here it is touch screen there's your two wheel drive four wheel lock and four low and sh show you that working right now we're locked in, in four or high and then we'll go back to, to two-wheel drive. And then you also can push neutral if you're pulling this truck behind an RV. This truck does have the Alpine sound system. It really sounds nice. Visors overhead with vanity mirrors. Your reading lights are up above here. Power sliding rear window control. Oops, finger keeps slipping. Home link for garage door opener. Here's your 911 assist on the rear view mirror. It is auto dimming. Cruise controls on the on the front right of the steering wheel. Over here is all your heads up display, voice activation, and phone controls. I'll show you all the heads up displays right there. Right there for your stored messages. Your uh, screen setup. You can show your digital speedometer, all your different vehicle information. So there's your trans temp, your oil life, fuel filter life, battery voltage, exhaust slash turbo boost, your gauge summary, your idle driving hours on the engine, and back to your trans temp. Also a nice little feature, it shows right there your miles per gallon, your range, your distance to empty, and your trailer gain. Nice to have. 
fuel economy shows right up there. Your trip A, trip B, your trailer tow. You also show your radio on the screen there. More start maintenance. It'll tell you when it needs the next maintenance done. Nice little gauge that's right down here is the is the death gauge. Ram just started doing that on the 2013 when they had to add the the diesel exhaust fluid after treatment system. Nice that it has a gauge to let you know how much how much it has. You got your wiper controls on the turn signal stock. Does have a tilt steering column. Your power pedal adjust is right there. Oh, one thing right there on the back of the steering wheel, it, it does have its radio controls. The left is the track seek, and the right is your volume. The button's right here in the center. Scroll through your presets. I can show you the back. Right here, it does have a power sliding tilting driver seat with power recline and power lumbar support. It also does have two position memory seats. I'm going to show you the back. This is what people love about these mega cabs. How amazing the back seat room is. Trust me, I'm 6'5 in height and this is how much room I have. You could be very comfortable on a long road trip in this. You have a nice little sto storage pockets on the on the back of the front seat here with this little magnetic clip right there that covers it. Same on the other side. Your rear heated seats. 12 volt power point. You have a fold down center armrest with two cup holders built in. Reading lights up there. You also do have two storage pockets on the side of the door. Right there. The back seat does fold forward. To gain extra cargo space, you do have storage behind the seats. Also, one thing, if you pull this forward and pull that. The seats will fold completely flat. Let's see if I can't lock this thing in. There it is. And we'll flip the seats back up. And there you go. It's amazing the amount of back seat room this thing has. All right, now before we end the video, I'll go ahead and move this truck back into its spot. Put my seatbelt on right here. Now right now, this is as close to a test drive as you guys are gonna get to. Take a quick little spin around the lot. Show you how tight the turning radius is. No, we're not. Definitely helps to have these big tow mirrors, especially because of these big wheel flares. But that was this truck has pretty tight turning radius. I'm actually very impressed by the way this thing steers. It actually steers better than my than my F250. Let me see if I can come in here kind of straight here. I don't pull up too far. I'll do it. Take off my seatbelt. All right. Now, just for the record, let's go and see how this thing sounds. Beautiful truck. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love this thing because I certainly do. Go ahead and shut it down here.
All right, guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the, the, the walk around review of this 2013 Ram 3500 Longhorn Mega Cab. Don't forget to hit that like button and be sure and comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.